Remarriage. So this is it, midweek Pro Tour action in the PDC. Players' Championship 13, and we've got the UK Open champion, a man who has catapulted himself to the top table of PDC darts over the last six months or so against a man, Willie O'Connor, who is ranked 52 Nathan in the world, who's been around for absolutely years, and everybody you talk to in darts says this man is so incredibly 25. talented and he's not done enough with it. Well, today, he's been superb, and he could win his first senior Bullseye. title in PDC darts in the same venue where Nathan, just six months ago, picked up first. his first. And look what's happened to him. I'm Dan Dawson, and Chris Murphy's alongside me for the Magpie versus the Asp and £10,000 on the line. Well, Willie O'Connor has won the throw for the ball at the start of the match to earn the prize of throwing first in it. And O'Connor has just produced a fantastic performance in the semi-finals against Darrell Gurney, a game which he won 7-5 and missed double 12 for a nine-dart leg. Certainly showcased some of his talents in that one and has had some Fantastic performances today, and he's needed them, Dan, because he's not had the easiest of opponents this afternoon. Absolutely not. Luke Humphreys and Roby John Rodriguez were his opening two games. 60. He saw off Luke Woodhouse, who's been playing some excellent darts and taking some big scalps. Steve Beaton was, an well, not annihilated. He threw 106 average nearly, will he? And he's still only won it 6-4. And Jeffrey Desvan was beaten 6-5, and Desvan had been averaging 105 for the day going into that. Absolutely superb from Willie, but we have seen him do this before. Only once, though. This is just a second PDC final he's been in. He made one on the Euro Tour last year in Hamburg, and by quirk of fate, he actually beat Nathan in qualifying for that. 100. Well, Aspinall has the first chance to finish both players in similar range but the asp well has he decided i think he's not checked o'connor's score there i don't think he would have thought i'm not going to go for this because he can't take it out because that would have been foolish wouldn't it dan it would have been a ridiculous decision because willie and look at nathan shake his head <laughs> he, he didn't check did he? he didn't check the score i'm pretty sure that's what's happened there Aspinall gets away with it, but for how long? 46. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter anyway now, but it was nearly a hilarious start to this final. Double eight for Willie. Nine. Double eight. For Aspinall. Game shot. And he hits it to break in leg one. You would ex expect more experience from a, a major champion, wouldn't you? Well, this is it. This is the, the curious thing about Nathan Aspinall, and it's what I think makes it really exciting. He 100. All of this success has come in a, a six-month spell. There was plenty of signs leading up to it, of course, last year, where he was playing some good darts. But he won here in Barnsley in September then had 45. the run to the semi-finals of the Worlds, then won the UK Open. He's been playing great stuff at the start of this year. Nearly beat MVG at the weekend on the Euro Tour. But he's still... It's still very early days in his PDC career, particularly when you consider that this is his second coming. He was on the tour and dropped off the tour 99. in his first attempt. And he's come back stronger. He is probably the best vindication for the Challenge Tour system that there is out there. Because look what it has allowed him to do. 125. Yeah, well, he's never beaten Willie O'Connor. You mentioned their meeting in the qualifiers for the European Tour event last year, which Willie went on to reach the final 60. in. And the only other meeting on record is the one at Q School in 2014. And Willie beat Nathan Aspinall and then went on to win his tour card. So whenever Willie does meet the ass, it turns out to be a significant meeting, and this one is no different. Yeah, Nathan actually had to wait another year to get on the full tour because he didn't come through Q School, partially down to losing to Willie. 140. But the ASP is the one making the running in the early stages of this final, and he has been superb all day. Four. 
40. He probably comes back. Well, he had an attempt at the bullseye for the 167, but does not get a go at a double for 157. He would have been hoping to leave double top, which is what Aspinall wants. And now double 10. 20. O'Connor will get his chance to take him at double top. Game shot. And this time, there's no mistake from O'Connor. He's only 32 himself from Capamore in Ireland. As I say, he has been around for such a long time. He first appeared on the tour in 2011. And yet, it took him years and years and years just to make it to the World Championship. When he made his debut at the World Championship, there no, were you know, people who were astonished that he'd never played there before. Yeah, it's a welcome run for both oh, of these players 40. on the floor. We know what success Aspinall has had this year, but on the floor since winning the UK Open, he hadn't been past the last 16. 100. And it is easily O'Connor's best run of the season. In fact, his best on the floor ever. 134. But he also hadn't made it, well he hadn't made it to the last 16 on the floor this year. Well, he made a big thing about a year and a half ago. He changed his throw. He'd gone back to how he used to throw and it seemed to provide immediate results. And he managed to qualify for Ali Pali for the first time in his career. And then last year had that great run on the Euro Tour. But what suddenly ignited him here today, I do not know. 96. Well, we've had two breaks of throw in the first couple of legs. Aspinel has missed the 20 segment. If he'd just hit a single there, he'd been taking aim at the ball here to win the leg and make it three. But now the magpie can pick his pocket. Into treble. Can't find one, so no harm done for Nathan 57. once again. Problems in the last leg on 20 and 10s, but Game not shot. this time. We do see a third break of throw from the opening three legs. Yeah, as a result of O'Connor's run to that final on the Euro Tour, of course, he did appear in the European Championship as well last year. 100. It was a debut for him at that tournament too, but didn't really end well for Willie O'Connor, did it, on the European Tour stage? No, it did not. Kind of lost his rag when he was taking on Max Hopp. Didn't like the fact that 7,000 Germans were cheering on the German number one. And let me tell you, a big angry Willie is quite the sight. 100. Well, we won't be seeing one of those this afternoon because these tournaments are played in the serene setting that is Barnsley Metrodome. 100. Well, we have seen a fair share of angry darts players over the years here. Yeah, one or two. 92. But I have to say, as I'm not surprised to see Willie play as well as he has today. I'm just surprised it's happened all of a sudden. There didn't seem to be any great omens of this happening. Nathan yeah. Asimov, by contrast, has, he looked incredible at the weekend. 108 average against James Wade. He's been doing 39. incredible stuff for a good few weeks now. Well, 180 to leave 125 is a, always a silly shot, but it's worked out that it could provide one of the highlights of the afternoon. But 89. This could be one of the highlights of the afternoon and it's a shot that Nathan Aspinall has fond memories of. He won't be remembering this effort at it quite as much as the one that won 60. in the UK Open though. And it's looking like yet another break of throw in this one. Double 18. Take the break. Willie O'Connor looked shot. quizzically at that double before he took care of it. And I was thinking that in the previous visit that he'd gone a, 
a rather unorthodox route. Yeah. And I think he got his maths wrong. But in the end, it's worked out well for Willie. I have to say as well, Nathan Aspinall was involved in a belter with Michael Van Gerwen at the weekend in Saarbrook and lost in a last leg decider after missing a match dart. 45. And I think you spoke about angry darts players. There are also quite a few rather placid ones as well. That I mean, Dave Chisnell missed four match darts against Michael Van Gerwen and basically danced out of the venue afterwards. And <laughs> I think Nathan Aspinall has got the balance right. That defeat will have hurt him, but he took it on the chin and he's responded by reaching the final here this afternoon. Well, he can't have felt happier about being a darts player than he does right now. He's a reigning major champion. He's got money in the bank. He is in the top 16 in the world and only going to go up this year. And the way that he is playing, I think he's one of the most dangerous players around right now. He's got that aggression and that killer instinct, hasn't he? As O'Connor looks to tidy this up, can still be done. Can't be any more. I mean, the match against Gerwin Price at the UK Open epitomised that. He'll go toe-to-toe and blow for blow with anyone, but it'll be played in a good spirit. Absolutely. 56. But don't let that mask the fact that how much it means to Nathan Aspinall, because it does mean a lot. He's sacrificed a lot to get where he is. that double? No, he has not. He managed to use the dart on the edge of the wire. And that is the first hold of throwing this match. It is. And we are seeing these guys playing below the levels they have been playing so far today. Now, is that just because it's the final? Or is it just a few missed darts at double have knocked them out of their stride? They've been in the groove all the way through today. 96. Well, O'Connor was certainly in the groove in the semi-final all the way through the match. He was producing the, the standard that he ended up posting. An average in excess of 100 against Daryl Gurney, and he kind of felt that he was just going to stay at that level and at some point would get his chance. And when it came, he took it. Simple as that. 83. 100. I've seen some interesting runs, some interesting results this afternoon. We saw Christian Kiss reach the quarterfinals for the first time in a very, very long time. Yeah, two and a half years, in fact. Did look as if Jeffrey Disvan was going to produce something like he did on the development tour a couple of weeks ago on the Pro Tour, but he was stopped in his tracks by Willie O'Connor. We've also seen Barney come through the board of death, but uh, didn't really have to play any of the big hitters on that one earlier on today. Fifth board of life, wasn't it? Yeah, eventually lost out to Peter Wright, who was involved in a brilliant quarter final with Adrian Lewis, the man that Nathan Aspinall beat to reach this final. But certainly without the likes of Van Gerwen and Wade, 98. We have seen some big runs from the other big players. Now, can we see a big finish? Not on this occasion, so Aspinall looking likely to level it up after six legs. 60. Yep, looking to get his first hold of throw on the board and level this one up. Game shot. Exactly what he does. So, with the way that these guys have played all day, look, Nathan was averaging 100 coming into this, and Willie was averaging 99 almost coming into this final. 140. You get the feeling with them both averaging low 90s here, it's all going to be about which one can settle and just forget about the context of this game. Willie famously kept on making quarterfinals without going any further in PDC darts. As they kept on, he would occasionally turn up in a quarterfinal. He did this over a number of years. And it almost became a mental block, you feel, that he only got past when he went and made the final last year in the Euro Tour. Now, is that a suggestion that things can play on the Irishman's mind? And as we get closer to the finishing line, unless Willie has got a very, very healthy lead, is it going to be a factor? 46. Yeah, I mean, we have seen him pushed close this afternoon, but that wasn't to win the tournament, was it? And 
140. Connor is under a little bit of pressure in this leg. Although what I will say is in the semi-final, Daryl Gurney took out a seemingly crucial 1-2-3 finish to go 4-2 up. And Willie just reeled off. I think it was the next four legs from that point. Well, he, it's a great setup shot there from O'Connor. Aspen only needs trouble 17 and Bull. And he does not get a go at the button to 85. go into the lead. Game. Willie O'Connor is 4 3 up and halfway to a first PDC title. Eight years of being on the tour 85. for Willie O'Connor. This could be the highlight. We saw a, a moment for Mickey Mantle to remember last year. 140. Seems to come out of a clear blue sky. I think actually this would be maybe less surprising than Mantle's win last season. Would you concur? Oh, I think so. Look, I mean, we'd seen that Willie had, had made a final before. And as I said at the start of this match, there are so many people in darts... I was talking to Mark Webster yesterday on the way up here who talked about Willie O'Connor and said he, he's such a talented player. And 320 points in the first six darts here gives Willie O'Connor a fantastic opportunity to open up a two-leg advantage in this final for the first time. Oh. Well, fair play to Willie O'Connor there for just carrying on because that could have hurt him had he bemoaned his bad luck, but instead he just tossed another one in the treble. 91. And he could have an 11 dart leg only using 10 darts here. Game shot. That's what he's got. Superb from Willie O'Connor to go 5 3 up. This is a man I remember when he qualified for Rally Pally for the first time. He won the, the Tom Kirby on the last day of the World Grand Prix. He had, didn't even stay around for the Grand Prix final. He had to shoot off because he had to go to work early doors 84. in the morning. A joiner by trade is Willie. Much like when he reached the final of that European Tour event, he was flying back the following morning and doing the afternoon on the job, wasn't he, on the yeah. bench? Um, 97. Aspinall boiling over a little because O'Connor seems to be making serene progress to the title. Ninety-six. Well, let's see what the Asp has got. He has just flowed through today, playing some magnificent stuff, averaging over 100, 100 right the way through the day. From the very first game, we averaged 106 against Matt Edgar. His average for the tournament has not dropped below 100. But here, he is going to have to dig deep, because at the moment... For the first 96. time today, he is second best. Yeah, we are seeing the difference, or we have seen the difference today in Nathan Aspinall pre becoming a major 60. winner and a, a title winner because the first title, he kind of, well, he fell over the line in the semi final definitely against Ian White last September, who missed bucket loads of match darts against him. And then he faced Ryan Searle in a, an edgy final, which he won. But since then, he has rocketed Nathan Aspital, Aspinall. I'm going to tell you about a comedy moment, Dan, that you won't be aware of yet. I'll do it after this leg, because Willie O'Connor dropping his dart then has just reminded me. 96. Well, a two-dart checkout for O'Connor. A three-dart checkout for Aspinall. O'Connor doing the right thing, making sure that his equipment is all sound. Making sure that all three flights are in his darts because Gerwin Price paid the price for that didn't he well O'Connor who I will mention his party piece in a moment but first of all he's got business to take care of here was that a fair enough shot or should he be gone for two tops well this is crucial Is it there? I think it is. No, it's not. It really isn't. 56. I thought he'd found the treble 19. It would have given him a dart for the leg. Double 16 for a three-leg cushion for Willie O'Connor, who is certainly now favourite to win this final, trouser £10,000, and become a PDC champion this afternoon. 
60. And the frustration telling on Nathan Aspinall. It must be so frustrating to be the best player on the day. Have the highest average of any of our quarter-finalists or semi-finalists. Take out names like Adrian Lewis. Christian Kist, who was playing incredibly against him as well, and beat him. And then in the final, just not be able to find that groove. 100. Yeah, Dan, we've seen some funny things on the hockey and on the dartboard this weekend. David Pallett, perhaps the lead contender for the top of the pati that particular table. But in the midst of the semi-final with Daryl Gurney, as important as it was, and at an important point where both players were on finishes, Willie O'Connor has thrown three darts at the board and the flight popped out of one of them while he was retrieving the darts. Gurney was about to uh, go for a checkout. O'Connor was looking around for a f the flight. Disappeared. Completely disappeared. Could not find it. Wandered back. Thought, well, I better let Gar Daryl Gurney 99. have a go at this finish. Turned out to have gone in his top pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see that very often. We haven't seen this often enough from Nathan Aspinall. Yeah, just his second maximum of this final. And a vital one because O'Connor is going to leave himself very well placed. 140. Superb stuff from O'Connor. If this doesn't go, it might be curtains. This is it then. And it 13. hasn't gone. And with it, his chances of winning a third PDC title this afternoon might have. Double 16. Oh, and he's just put too much juice on that one. A reprieve for the Asp. And you Game shot. made reference to it earlier on, Dan. Would there be a wobble towards the finish? Have we seen Willie wobble there? Well, the way he's playing, you expect him to get more chances. 140. But we also know that the way that Nathan has played today, he could just click into gear. He did it a couple of times at the weekend, particularly towards the end of matches, and just took them away. He took one away from James Wade in the most spectacular fashion. One hundred. One hundred and forty. May as well mention it as well. We have got the World Cup of Darts coming up and we've been saying about different teams all coming into form at the right time as individuals, but you have to uh, have a little bit of a nod to that Irish pair now with O'Connor reaching this final. Well, look, the pair of them, Steve Lennon and Willie O'Connor, both made Euro Tour finals last year. Steve 100. has shown little flashes of good stuff this year, but this is the best we've seen from Willie. We're going to see a flash of brilliance here. Well, he went downstairs and could not find the treble. Aspinall might take a trip downstairs looking for two. And Aspinall's reached the point in the game where enormous things have to happen. And it's not happened for him here. 54. For 7-4. The Irishman goes within a leg. Ninety-six. Well, what a moment this would be, not just for Willie O'Connor, but for Irish darts. One hundred and thirty-nine. Good start to what he is hoping could be the last leg of the match. Aspinall cutting a frustrated figure, and perhaps, perhaps. Because for the first time he's found himself in a final and been a heavy favourite. Well, I'm trying to think, have we seen an Irish winner of a PDC title? We obviously seen Northern Irish winners. You can go back to Felix McBreity with some Derry. 
But have we seen somebody from the Republic of Ireland claim a PDC title? And I'm not sure I've got the answer to that. This might be a first. Ninety six. And he has left himself. What a way to win it it might be if he's allowed a go at the one three two. And he is gonna get a go at it. One hundred and twenty eight. Fa fabulous setup shot in the end from Aspinall, but it might be for nothing. Well, it's still on. Treble nineteen. Can't get himself a dart at the ball, and he'd been hitting ball. the bullseye very, very well in the semi final. Fourteen. There should be championship darts coming in here. Willie O'Connor is going to get one dart to become a PDC title winner. And Willie wins it. Willie O'Connor wins his first PDC title at the expense of Nathan Aspinall in the final. What a story. This afternoon the Magpie took flight and soared to victory. An 8-4 success against the UK Open champion in the decider. And Willie O'Connor adds his name to the Royal of Honour in the PDC. £10,000 pair check coming his way. And we are going to catch a quick word with the winner. As unlikely as it may have seemed at the start of the day, that man, your champion, is Ireland's Willie O'Connor. Look into that just there. And mind yourself, Willie, I don't want to close line you in your moment of glory. Look, congratulations. What does this moment mean to you? It has been a number of years in the waiting. I don't know, to be honest, Dan. Uh, hasn't hit me yet. It's just over, like, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed by the whole thing, you know. <laughs> but uh, I thought I would have had to play better to win one of these, you know, but there you are. You know, you, you've averaged 99 for the entire day. There have been some big wins against some top players in, in there today. Yeah, I've, Dan, I've been playing well a while all year and I haven't got any results, so I suppose, look, I got all my luck today in one day, so I'm happy. Look, what does it mean to you to do this? Because you have been playing PDC darts for a number of years, and the number of people who've said to me loads of times, Willie O'Connor, what a talent. How come he hasn't done more this could be this could finally be you starting to go and do all kinds of things couldn't it then god knows we'll have to wait and see you know yourself not the way these things go we'll look i'll take it on the chin and move on and hopefully try and get another couple of wins under the belt and we'll see from there at the start of this year willie did you have any targets last year was was a big year for you because you made that european mm. tour final and, and played mvg did you come into this year thinking there's something i particularly want to do yeah i want to start playing well <laughs> you know, consistently, like, you know, um, I've been alright, I've been playing okay this year, I haven't got any results, you know, about today, probably got all my luck today in one day, you know, um, compared to the rest of the year, you know, I've been, I, th I, th I thought myself, I've been a bit unlucky, you know, I thought I've been playing fairly okay, but, uh, you know, I haven't got any results, I I'm just happy to get the win today, I'm happy to get a few pounds in the bank and get up the rankings a little bit. Well, £10,000 in banking money, you start today at, at 52 in the world, this will help, obviously, but... You've seen from Nathan, Nathan you know, you've, uh, you've just congratulated Nathan on his last 12 months. He's been incredible. Dropped mm. off the tour, came back, won his first title here in Barnsley. Within six months, he was a World Championship semi-finalist and a major champion. Do you think that you're able to do that sort of stuff, Willie? Do you think that's a possibility? I think I can. Like, I mean, I have, I have the darts to do it, you know, whether or not I can produce them. You know, um, I, I, look, I, I need to be more consistent, you know. If I can be more consistent, I can produce them. I can produce a lot better than I've been doing. But you know, you know, same can be said for a lot of players in the tour. You got to do what you mean. You know, you got to put up or shut up. And I haven't been putting it up, so I can't say a word. You know. You certainly put it up today. Look, congratulations, Willie. Yeah. Well, this man has been on the tour since 2011. It's his first PDC title. It may be the start of great things. Willie, you back here tomorrow? Yeah, go on. Yeah, he's <laughs> got to be back tomorrow. Players Championship 14 live on PDC TV. Uh, it starts at noon, and this man will be look trying to make it the double. We've seen it happen. Gowen Price did it this year. Michael Van Gowen's done it loads, maybe. We'll try and get out of the first round. It's the, mag the Magpies picked up something shiny. That's what they're supposed to do. I don't know.